I'm in front of a luxury three row SUV. I'm in front of the 2024 Mazda CX-90 plug-in hybrid. With an MSRP around 60,000, it seats seven passengers. It has a huge suite of safety features and it's sporty, stylish, and sophisticated. I can't wait to show you more. Let's go check it out. Driving the Mazda CX-90 plug-in hybrid is really, really fun. It has a peppy 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's an eight speed automatic. It makes 323 horsepower, an impressive 369 pound feet of torque and has zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds, which I'm about to discover because I'm late to carpool. The zero to 60 is 6.2 seconds and I have felt every bit of it as I've merged on and off the highway. I drove four hours in this yesterday across the state of North Carolina and it was such a smooth ride and drive. I really, really appreciate the acceleration and the handling. It's a fun, fun car. I do wonder at an MSRP of about $60,000 for the premium plus all wheel drive plug-in hybrid. It does make me wonder is it more in a category of a hybrid, a pilot, and a Highlander for those three row SUVs that have dominated the segment? Or is it trying to move more towards your Audi, your BMW X7, or your Acura MDX? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. We have trimmed Napa leather seats that are both heated and ventilated. And you have an eight way adjustment that includes lumbar so that you're comfortable on the drive. We also have a leather wrap steering wheel, which is also heated. In the front here, you have a wireless charging pad, two cup holders, your drive mode shifter in the front, and a 12.3 inch color touchscreen that you can control with touch and with the turning of this knob. You have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and a wireless charging pad for your phone. You also have a 12 volt charger in the front and two USB-C's in your armrest. Another thing that I'm loving in this vehicle is this sensor right here. So this alerts me if it's not safe to turn or merge or if somebody's coming up from my blind spot, this will change colors and flash, which is really, really helpful. One of the things that I like to check on my screen is the high voltage battery monitor. So you can see here that I have 16% charge, I have 100 miles of range between gas and electric. I only have three miles on electric and I would need to charge this battery or charge it for two hours in order to get the full range. On a full charge, this battery will give you 25 miles of electric range. You plug in the battery on the passenger side of the vehicle, but you put gas on the driver's side. In order to open the electric charging port, I have to unlock the vehicle. This opens up, you remove this cap, grab my charging cord. This standard charger plugs right into a home outlet. To me, a plug-in hybrid gives you the best of both worlds. If you wanna enjoy electric on short trips and around town driving, it's there for you to not use your gas engine. But for longer trips and more driving, highway driving, that sort of thing, or if you haven't plugged in, your backup is your gas engine. And while I've been driving this week, I've averaged between 25 and 26 MPG. The sophisticated feel continues in the back. We have armrest, a really unique cup holder design in between these two captain's chairs. You also have two bottle or cup holders in each door. The second row has sunshades, which I'm a big fan of. Your AC vents are here in the center console. You also have two USB-C chargers. You can control your climate and these seats are heated. We also have lower isofix latches in both of these captain's chairs, which are really visible and really easy to connect to. These seats are on rails, so they move up and back. You have an armrest and you have a tilt and slide, which is not the same as a car seat tilt. The back collapses and the seat moves forward to allow easier entry into the third row. If you have a forward facing car seat, you would still not be able to use this feature. In the third row, I have decent leg room when this seat is in the forward position. When it's pulled all the way back on rails, I do have less leg room, but I do have two cup holders on each side, a USB-C charger on each side, and we have five sets of top tethers with three sets of lower latches. You have lower latches in both of your captain's chairs, and you also have lower latches back here in the third row on the passenger side of the vehicle. And your vents are down here on the side. To get out of the vehicle, you pull this latch to exit 
semi-gracefully. On the exterior, there's a couple things that stand out to me right away that is sophisticated and premium. You have 21 inch alloy wheels. You have a chrome accent that runs around both sides of the vehicle that has the Mazda engraving on the bottom. LED tail lights. Your pano roof. You have rain sensing windshield wipers and this has an optional de-icer on the windshield wipers which is very helpful in those colder months. When you lock your Mazda, your side view mirrors go in to give you better clearance on each side of the vehicle. And when I come back to unlock it later, they open. One of the things I would like to change is when you use the um, keyless entry, meaning you have the key fob in your pocket or in your bag, and you come up, it unlocks the driver's door, but it does not unlock the back. So I have to hear my kids do this a hundred times, which absolutely makes me crazy. I know it's for safety. Some people, if you're in a parking garage, you don't want to unlock all four doors and then you would have, you know, an ax murderer jump into the back seat. But that extra step, I just need to be able to get everybody in the car one time. And we live in a relatively safe area, which I don't think has a lot of ax murderers. This hands-free lift gate works to open and close. So one kick, I've gotten it on the first time, every time in this car, which I love. And what's really helpful when I grab all my groceries or suitcases or whatever out, it's also a kick to close. You can also adjust your lift gate. So if you're shorter or if you have a lower garage, you pull this down to the height you want to set it to so that the next time you open the door, it'll be at the perfect height. What do you think of the Mazda CX-90? I think it's Brody approved.